The recent groundbreaking discovery of a massive underground reservoir of liquid water on Mars marks a monumental leap in our understanding of the Red Planet's history and future potential. This subterranean ocean is so vast that it could cover the entire surface of Mars with a depth of 1 to 2 kilometers, approximately 1 mile. This revelation provides a crucial piece to the long-standing puzzle of Mars water history, transforming our perception of the planet. Mars watery past billions of years ago, Mars was a very different world from the arid, frigid planet we see today. During this earlier period, Mars boasted a much thicker atmosphere and a warmer climate, conditions that would have supported the presence of liquid water on its surface. Evidence supporting this warmer, wetter past is found in several key features, valleys and outflow channels. Mars is dotted with extensive networks of valleys and outflow channels that closely resemble river valleys and deltas found on Earth. These features suggest that liquid water once flowed across Mars' surface, carving out channels and transporting sediments in a manner similar to Earth's river systems. Hydrated Minerals The identification of minerals like clays, sulfates, and certain salts, which only form in the presence of water, has strongly indicated past water activity on Mars. Detected by orbiters such as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and rovers like Curiosity, these minerals reinforce the idea that water played a significant role in Mars' geological history. Sedimentary Rock Formations Mars rovers have uncovered sedimentary rock formations with features similar to those formed by water on Earth. Evidence such as cross-bedding and ripple marks suggests that water once flowed on Mars, providing additional support for the planet's historical water activity. The catastrophic changes around 3 to 4 billion years ago, Mars' climate and geology changed drastically due to the collapse of its magnetic field. Unlike Earth, which has a strong magnetic field from its molten core, Mars lost its magnetic shield early on as its core cooled. This left Mars exposed to solar wind, which severely impacted its atmosphere and climate. Without its protective magnetic field, Mars' atmosphere became vulnerable to the relentless solar wind, charged particles emitted by the Sun. Over time, this solar wind stripped away much of Mars' atmosphere, leading to a dramatic drop in atmospheric pressure. This thinning made it increasingly difficult for liquid water to remain on the surface, causing it to evaporate. Additionally, the weakening greenhouse effect led to a significant temperature drop, transforming Mars from a warm, wet environment into the cold, dry world we see today. Any remaining liquid water likely froze into surface ice or permafrost beneath the Martian surface. The hidden reservoir scientists have long questioned the whereabouts of Mars' remaining water, given its dramatic loss. The polar ice caps, while significant, did not account for the entire volume of water once present. This discrepancy led to the critical question, where is the rest of the water? NASA's InSight mission, designed to explore Mars' interior, recorded over 1,300 Mars quakes during its four-year mission. Unlike previous missions focused on the surface, InSight investigated seismic activity, heat flow, and internal composition. The seismic waves from meteor impacts and volcanic activity provided crucial data for examining Mars' interior structure. Scientists detected a large underground reservoir of liquid water by analyzing seismic waves, using a technique similar to those used on Earth for studying aquifers and oil fields. A mathematical model applied to the seismic data revealed that the signals best fit the presence of fractured igneous rock filled with water. Igneous rocks form from cooling and solidifying molten rock material, either magma below the surface or lava on the surface. As these rocks cool, they can develop fractures that create pathways for water flow and accumulation. Although igneous rocks are not usually highly porous, they can retain water under certain conditions. The discovery of this deep water reservoir offers vital insights into Mars' water cycle and climatic evolution. Despite being buried at depths of 11.5 to 20 kilometers, 7 to 13 miles, making it currently inaccessible, it presents exciting possibilities for future exploration. Implications for life The discovery of a vast underground water reservoir on Mars doesn't guarantee life, but it opens exciting possibilities. The conditions in this reservoir could resemble those on Earth where microbial life thrives, such as in deep mines or on the ocean floor. If Mars has habitable conditions, they are likely to be found deep underground within this hidden reservoir. The revelation of this water reservoir also underscores the importance of understanding Mars' water cycle for future exploration. It suggests that any potential life on Mars could be hidden in these deep, subterranean waters, waiting to be discovered. Challenges for future exploration The discovery of water on Mars also raises the prospect of future exploration and even human colonization. However, several significant challenges must be addressed before such missions can become a reality. Distance and time. 
Mars is about 225 million kilometers, 140 million miles, from Earth. A round-trip mission would take roughly 18 to 30 months, covering travel, surface operations, and the return journey. Astronauts would need to carry sufficient supplies for the entire mission, and the vast distance could lead to communication delays, complicating emergency responses. Radiation Exposure Space contains harmful cosmic radiation and solar particles that pose serious health risks to astronauts. Without Earth's protective magnetic field, Mars offers no such shield, exposing astronauts to higher risks of cancer and other health issues during their journey and on the Martian surface. Harsh Environment Mars has a harsh environment, with temperatures dropping to 125 degrees Celsius at night and reaching only about 20 degrees Celsius during summer days. Planet-wide dust storms, which can last weeks or months, may disrupt solar power and damage equipment. Safeguarding astronauts and technology from these extreme conditions is a major challenge. Life Support Systems Supporting human life on Mars requires reliable systems for air, water, and food. With Mars' thin, carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere and limited water, advanced life support systems are essential. These systems must generate oxygen, recycle water, and produce food or provide sufficient supplies for the entire mission. Physical and Mental Health Prolonged exposure to microgravity can cause muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Mars' lower gravity, about 38% of Earth's, might also have unknown effects on the body. The isolation, confinement, and distance from Earth could lead to stress, anxiety, and depression. Ensuring astronauts' physical and mental well-being is essential for mission success. Conclusion The discovery of a massive underground water reservoir on Mars has revolutionized our understanding of the planet's past and present. This finding opens exciting possibilities for future exploration and the potential use of this resource. While human missions to Mars remain a long-term goal, this breakthrough ignites imagination about what can be achieved as we further explore and learn about the Red Planet. The quest to understand Mars and its potential for supporting life is a thrilling chapter in space exploration. Thank you for watching another episode of Alizeb. While you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe.